What started as a nice holiday gesture for some co-workers has turned into a major headache for David Watson after he bought what he thought were Visa gift cards at a local grocery store. I bought three. The third one was fine, but two of them were fraudulent. Something Watson found out only after he'd given the gifts. One of the colleagues opened it up and he sent me a text. He's like, haha, that's funny. And I said, what's so funny? And he sent me a picture and there's a gift uh, calling card. I go, where did the calling card come from? I go, that wasn't in the packaging, was it? And he says, yeah, it was. <laughs> the person that got it, they finally peel this away and pull it out and they see that. The Visa gift cards were taken out and replaced with these calling cards. Those calling cards had pictures of the original Visa gift cards on the back of them. You can't really see that because that's covered up by the packaging. You can only see the barcode. Watson believes those who stole the real cards waited for the copies to be scanned and loaded. I'm amazed at the creativity uh, that these uh, consumers um, have to go through and that these scam artists actually do to scam people for you know a little bit of money. Though the Better Business Bureau says tricksters get more creative each year, there are still some things you can look out for so you don't lose any money. Um, if you see any scratches or if it's bent or if the advertisement on the back, for example, doesn't match the name on the card, be extra leery about that too. That means the card was taken out or another one was replaced. The Better Business Bureau also says to save your receipts and be sure to let federal agencies know what happened if you're tricked. Now, David says he's in talks with Visa about what happened to him, and he's confident that he's going to get his money back. Brittany?